Hello Squawks Head, returning with another K-50 instructional video. This time we're going to be looking at the air-to-air -air capabilities of this helicopter, namely these strelet launchers which are located on the outermost extension hardpoints. And much the same as my other videos, we're going to split it into two parts really. We'll find out information about these missiles that we can employ now. We've got the Black Shark 3. And in the second part we're going to look at actually employing them in the cockpit. So, by all means, skip ahead, but if you want to know a little bit more about these missiles, then uh, stick around. So here we go, what are they? These are Strelit launchers, designated as 9S or 9 Sierra 846 Strelit launcher modules. And each module comprises up to two missiles. In this case, the 9M or 9 Mike 342 Igla infrared short-range light air-to-air -air missile so this missile we know is a modified variant of the igla 9 kilo 338 man pads which nato classified as the sa-18 grouse and it was developed by kb machin Ostroenia, based in kolomna russia and in this version of the igla it's designed to take out subsonic airborne targets the missile itself has folding wings and fins. It is an optically and dual spectrum guided missile with a servo motor, has a 1.25 kilogram warhead, weighs in total 11.3 kilograms and utilizes a solid propellant. Has a flight speed of up to 570 to 600 meters a second and it can be employed against targets in pursuit mode of speeds up to 320 meters a second or for kilometers an hour that's 1152. It can be also employed against targets in a head-on configuration mode with targets moving up to 400 meters a second or 1440 kilometers an hour. So they're pretty fast. You'd have to be going supersonic to avoid these. So the effective range of this missile is from 500 meters minimum up to six kilometers. And it's described in the DCS manual as having a high G load and average resistance to aircraft countermeasures. It can operate in temperatures ranging from minus 50 to plus 50 Celsius. So there you go, there's a little bit about these missiles. Now, from previous experience and practice of employing these against air targets, as we're going to do today, I've noticed that they're quite weak, and as such, you may need one or two to bring down a target. We're going to be looking at mirages today. I suggest you probably won't be employing them against fast-moving aircraft, mainly helicopters and things like that, but hey, they're there, let's give them a go. So without further ado, let's jump into the cockpit. So welcome back to the cockpit. Here we can see on the HUD we're in a stable hover, that square representing a point we designated on the ground, the circle representing the black shark above it. And we'll be using a hover in this tutorial just to discuss a few panels and weapon selection options. Okay, so what do we need to know to employ air-to-air -air missiles or these iglers? Well, first thing I'd like to talk about is the weapon select panel, which is down here. Now, the master arm switch is self-explanatory. We'll be needing to use that later, so we will put that on shortly. If we select the AA stations on the collective, and that will need to be bound, your air-to-air -air station, you'll see here that we've got four missiles remaining. Don't worry about the rounds over here. That's for the cannon. So this is a visual representation of the number remaining. We'll also need to be aware of this switch here this manual and auto switch so in auto mode when we supply power to the seeker head or to the missile the seeker head will uncage automatically and allow us to lock onto an aircraft if it's in manual we have to do that manually i would suggest auto is probably your friend it's certainly how i employ it and it's one less thing to do in the cockpit so once we've selected our air to air station on the collective you'll notice on the targeting computer air to air lights up if it's not lit up do light it up manually that's telling the aircraft will be engaging an air to air target here is the air to air head on mode now, as i mentioned before when we were discussing the specifics of the missile it can be deployed in two aspects 
One is a rearward aspect, so a pursuit mode, if you like, that chases the aircraft, and the other is a head-on. So if we want to engage a head-on aircraft, we click that button there. In default mode, with it off, we're in a pursuit aspect, so be wary of that. So these missiles are really quite straightforward to employ. And to do that, we have to locate an aircraft, and there's a few flying around. I'll find one shortly. And when we do, we'll need to provide power to the missile first. And to do that, we need to hit the trigger. And it takes about five seconds, so be wary of this. You can't just point and shoot. You have to pull the trigger to supply power to the missile, which then will spool up the gyroscopes and the seeker head. And about five seconds later, we'll get some information on the HUD. Now, because we've selected the air-to-air -air missiles, we can see a bit of information here. We've got this hack, and I won't try and pronounce it, symbol. And basically, this is telling us to supply power to the missile. It's ready to have power supplied to it. And this is the number of missiles we have left. The other text that's useful to us is this 3NC, and that tells us we're in rear aspect, that rear aspect, that pursuit mode of that missile. If we look down here and we click air to air head on, that'll change NNC, and that says we're head on. So be wary of that. Let's go back to pursuit. And let's try and find these aircraft. So let's get out of this hover. Let's just quickly reset the system. And I'll try and do it all in flight when we see the aircraft. Just to show you how quickly you can employ these. So let's come out of the hover. So we're visually going to acquire these. I see some mirages above us. Now it's very unlikely that you're going to have a Mirage happily orbiting you, uh, waiting for you to shoot it down, but for this tutorial I think it's important we show how we can deploy these missiles, so there he is. So knowing that we've got an air target that we want to engage, we're going to turn the master arm on, we're going to select the air-to-air -air station on the collective, remember that will need to be bound, we'll do that now. Now we've got the warnings come up saying, power missile with four remaining and we're in the rear pursuit aspect mode of the missile so let's see if we can find a mirage to have a look at remember we're in the auto mode of the missile so it should uncage the seeker head once we find the aircraft we're going to hold down the release button and the first hold down of the release button will arm the missile or supply power to the missile uncage the seeker head will also provide coolant and following that we have 55 seconds to deploy the missile before it becomes useless so let's wait until they get a bit closer i think they're going to be orbiting around here so you can probably just about see them in the distance there so i'm just going to wait it's important remember the ranges of the missile are up to six kilometers so we don't want to be outside of that okay it's coming around in the orbit now i'm going to arm the missile or supply power to it i should say and you'll see there we go we've got that rotob text come up saying we're ready to get on target and fire there we go we've got a c coming up we need that cross over our target as best we can we're going to fire now here we go let you sense some flares so we'll probably get defeated remember these are infrared missiles he's going skyward look let's arm another one takes five seconds remember always be aware there's a delay All right let's try again and there we go let's fire another one so even if these do hit, and that one's just hit, there we go, look at that. It doesn't necessarily mean that aircraft is going to be destroyed, because these are lightweight warheads, remember. So pick your targets wisely. Right, let's find another one. Okay, here we go. It's not as easy as you think. Right, that was as close as I could really get without losing the target. We just missed him. He just dodged it. Do you see that? Okay, last one. Let's go back onto the original target. 
and see if we can't damage it sufficiently to destroy it. But in my experience it takes two to three sometimes, certainly for these mirages, to take them down, so be, be wary of that. Okay. There's our one I think that we damaged earlier. So last missile, we've got one left. Let's arm it. Let's get a nice lock if we can. Uh, now remember, it, it's a little bit like air to air refueling. Get that pilot induced oscillation. When you start getting excited about these things. Right, here we go. Looks looking good, looking good. And we hit him again. Right, I don't know if he's going down for that, but it looks like he's still flying to me. He might be thinking about it. Anyway, that's how to employ the air-to-air -air Igla missiles. And remember, as I said before, these are lightweight missiles, so they are, they are limited in what damage they can do. They can be defeated relatively easily. But I think this guy, is he going down? He certainly can't be very well being hit by those. But yes, he's pretty straightforward. So just a very quick recap of how we employ them. Switch the master arm on. Select the air station on the collective. Find your targets. Hold down the release button. It will supply power to the missile. Five seconds later, you'll get a countdown from 55 seconds. That'll give you 55 seconds, basically, to lock up the target and deploy the missile. And there you go. I hope this tutorial has been of some assistance to you. Please do click a like. It does help me. Uh, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I intend to do some more videos uh, on other platforms. Very much looking forward to the release of the Chinook. We may well uh, do a start-up on that as soon as it comes out. But uh, we will see. And until then, I bid you adieu and hope to see you in multiplayer sometime soon. Bye-bye for now.